welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I just want to talk about my April goals with you. I have nothing prepared in mind that I'm going to say. I'm just going to talk about it with you at the same time. So, for April, I want to focus more on myself. And by that, I mean that I've been kind of down in the dumps lately. I haven't been really taking care of myself. I've just kind of been all over the place. Um... I'm just super anxious and super sad and always thinking, you know, people have it, people hate me or, I, you know, just thinking very negatively and negatively, negative. And um, I want to quit doing that. I want to take better care of myself. I want to focus on being a better version of myself and um, just, I just want to take care of myself and I want to focus on positive thoughts and not thinking the worst or thinking that everyone has it out for me or um, not just assuming the worst. So it's definitely something I need to work on. Um, it's just been kind of, it's just like January and February and March sometimes for me are just like really blah months um, emotionally. I just don't want to do anything ever. I just, I'm just Blah. Like, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. I just want to stay at home. So, my goal for April is to get out of that slump, which it is my birthday month, and I love spring. Spring is my favorite season of all time. So, normally in April, I do start getting um, a lot happier and better um, with my emotions. So, I'm excited for April because I just love spring. Just, oh, like, the, everything melting and just, like, you know, it's hoodie season where, like, sometimes you'll get out of work and you can roll your windows down and play music and it's warm out. It's just, that's my favorite feeling. Just, like, it's, like, new. It's almost like a new year to me. Like, it's just, like, a new, fresh start. I don't even know if that makes any sense. But, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to April. I will be turning 25. A little scared about that. I don't know why age is such a big deal to me. But, anyways, um... So I just have a lot going on. I In April, I want to just breathe more and take more time for myself and actually take more time, not even just for myself, but take more time to actually be with people and hang out with them. I feel like because I've been down the dumps lately, I haven't wanted to like hang out with anybody or do anything. I've declined going places with people. I just, I just don't want to do anything, like I said before. So um, not only take time to better myself, but take time to actually better my relationships with people and um, not just, you know, ignore people and want to be alone all the time because that definitely doesn't help when you are in that slump, which I know, but I still do anyway. Um, for April, I also want to get back in the gym hard. I have been going occasionally here and there um, because I haven't been taking care of myself. I'm just not in the mood, so I will go twice a week maybe, but I need to get I need to get into it again, and I want to. The thing is, I get so motivated, but then I get motivated at times where the gym is super busy, and I'm like, ugh, it's super busy. I don't want to go. I don't want to... Not that I'm scared of people being there, but I just hate when the gym is packed, and you literally have to sit there for, like, 20 minutes to use um, equipment, because then what the point? what's the point of going to the gym if you're just standing around most of the time? So I... Every time I'm like, I want to go, I just never end up going. Um, so I've just been going at random times, and I just need to get back into it hard and restart taking care of myself again, and I need to start meal prepping and just taking better care of myself. Ha, huh, I'll go around to this. So it's crazy how physically and mentally and a lot of things you do just revolve around taking care of yourself. You know, no matter what you do, it all kind of depends it all revolves around, at the end of the day, you and what you're doing. So I need to start uh, planning my meals out, um, not going out to eat so much. I need to eat more. Um, it's like I go days without eating, and then when I do eat, it's fast food or something because I just don't feel like cooking. I am not in the mood. So I just need to take better care of myself as I need to eat more. I need to eat good things. I need to, I just need to get back in my regimen. Um, and I was doing so good for a while and I just, but being sick, once I got sick and I got out of my routine, I just, it's like, I can't get back into it. So I'm definitely, that's my goal for, um, April also. Oh gosh. Animals, animals, animals. 
Okay, can you calm down? Can you calm down a little bit? Okay. Yes, yes. We all love you. We all love you. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Along with um, taking care of myself, I need to take better care of my house. So, um, my also goal for April is to start like cleaning on the regularly and not letting it get so bad that it takes me a whole day or two days because then you really put it off because you don't want to. So, um, I need to start, just, I need to make lists and I need to actually do clean my house, get stuff done. Um, because when you live in a clean and better environment, you are less stressed and you feel better about a lot of things. So I know when my house is crazy messy or I have a lot of laundry to do or anything like that, I tend to get super stressed because I'm really worried. <laughs> I, I keep thinking about how much I have to do, but yet I don't do it and it just becomes a bad cycle. So that is another one of my goals in April, um, clean my house. Wow, shit girl. Another one of my April goals is to get outside more. So um, I have gone for walks with my dog Willow um, a couple times the, the past month, but it just, it got really cold again. So I, uh, we kind of been slacking on that, but I think it's really awesome. I put my beats on, I take her for a walk. It's just nice to get outside and I do try to jog in there. Best as I can but it's really nice to just get out with her um, it helps obviously it's great to walk your dog in general but it's also really good for me um, I just put music on and I can think and it's just something to bond with my dog also because I'm obsessed with her but um, yeah it's just really good to get out and take a walk and it's a breath of fresh air and it just it's to get out. You can listen to music and you can think and you can figure things out. I honestly believe when you take a walk, you can solve a lot of your problems because you you just are looking around and you where I walk anyway, there's trees and it's just nice to think and just calm down and breathe a little bit and to get out of your element. So I that's my another goal for April to do. Another goal for my April routine is to um, be more consistent with my YouTube videos. I have a lot of ideas and I just never find the time to end up doing them and then ugh, it gets I just get overwhelmed. So um, my goal is to make more YouTube videos. I have so many good ideas I want to share with you guys and I want to I want to grow my channel and I want to um just reach more people and so um, I want to get better at um, making my videos more frequently so I have more content out there for everybody to watch. I just have so much more content that I want to share with you guys and I want to um, bring it to you guys and I just want to be able to help anybody like I said even before I said this before even if it's only one person I just want people to know that if your life is crazy like mine and you go through really bad spells and roller coasters, that you're not alone. And if you are stable and normal, you go girl or boy, you go. Your goals, your goals. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I think that's it for my um, April goals. I, I just have a lot of ideas and I get motivated in times and I just need to go through with that instead of just being like and going laying on the couch. But you know, shameless. Shameless. I'm addicted to shameless. Yeah. So, anyways, I am going to conclude this video here. I know it's very random and rambly like my normal self, but I just wanted to make this video and I want all of you guys to think of goals you want to make in April things you want to get done and accomplished and make a goal, write it down, and then by the end of April, see if you've accomplished it or even have gotten a little bit further to your goal of getting, you know, things done. I A lot of times I think people just want this big change right away and it doesn't happen like that. That's why people get discouraged and fail. You need to um, slowly and slowly get through things and um, slowly make changes that will end up in a big goal. So 
I'm going to start making um, a goal list every every month, and then I think at the beginning of every month I will just, I will talk about like if I've accomplished those goals or not, and if I didn't, I will still share them because it's real life. That's life, and things aren't perfect. So. I'm actually really gonna conclude this video here now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks.